Hey guys, it's Jugga Connor. We are back from more Earthbound, and here we're going to be taking down the third Sanctuary boss. I'm going to warn you right now, this boss is really tough. If you've got any conditions on your party, like Brain Shock or anything like that, and, or you're Mushroomized or something like that, from those uh, Mushroom menus from before, I would highly recommend not fighting this boss unless you can cure your party members beforehand. So if you got those conditions, just go back right now and heal up. So anyway, you finally got here. This is the third your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Okay, we have the Trillinage Sprout. It has quite a few annoying attacks, actually. This is one of the tougher bosses in the game. As you can see, it has two tough mobile sprouts helping it out, which can drain your PSI. You can drain your PP. Um, of course, you know, they can use life up to heal them, so you're going to want to take them out fast. The Trillinage Sprout himself has several PSI attacks. He is probably his most devastating one that you're going to want to watch out for is the fact that he can glare with his eyes, which when he does that, that's basically, it makes you diamond eyes, which is a condition that is basically the same as an insta-kill. It'll turn you into a diamond. I know it sounds weird, though. That's what it does. When you're diamond eyes, it's basically a one-hit kill. You can't do anything. Only way to cure it is, you know go into a hospital, or if you have a cup of life noodles like I got from Mr. Saturn earlier, that's what you got. I would highly recommend starting off with a uh, PSI rockin', and then uh, your PSI fire on them, so you hit everyone, and then I would, uh, if you got a big bottle rocket, fire it now, if not, use a regular bottle rocket on him. This is how you're going to want to go about attacking him, because he's actually a very strong enemy. He has a little over a thousand HP, and he's got a ton of PP, and, uh, his ability to diamondize you is not his only um, attack he can do. He's got other PSI powers too. He's not easy, I'll tell you that much. He's actually one of the more difficult bosses. Okay, we've taken out his allies. So right now... It's totally up to you if you want to do this though, but I'm actually going to see if I can par paralyze him. I'm not sure if this works or not though. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. PSI Freeze, if I remember, is also pretty effective on him. Um, we're going to use the Defense Spray. Uh, let's do that on Paula, because she's going to be our main attacker. And she has the lowest defense, though. I can see Paralysis. It didn't work. Paula's defense is not by 4. That'll help. I just want to kind of... Oh, crap. Hopefully I got something that can recover PP, though, because that was really stupid of me to do that. It doesn't look like I do. Well, damn, that was really stupid. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. That was really bad. Let's do life off on myself. I have PP. No. I need to freeze Alpha. God, that was really stupid of me. I can't believe I seriously did that. Uh, let's use a bomb. 67. Paralysis. Uh oh. Didn't work on Jeff. Thank God. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, try hypnosis, see if that'll work. Sometimes it does. Can't do much. Uh, I'm going to chance it with Prey. Let's check my items. Ah, I can use a bomb. Any character can use bombs. It's just bottle rockets only Jeff can use. And I'll just shoot at him. Uh oh. Didn't work on Paul. Whew. This will work. Didn't work. Dang. All right. Bash. Bash. Shoot. Last resort. Just keep ah. Seven damage. Wow. Probably not really worth keeping Paul alive, but I just wanted to get some experience from this fight, so I'm gonna do that. Um. Try the stag beetle. Shoot. Didn't work. Dang. I was hoping because he was a plant type enemy. Oh. Well, I wasted the stag beetle, but we still got him. Yeah, I wasn't too smart in that fight, even though I was, you know, tugging through. Oh, whoa! Vitality went up by three. Max HP went up by forty-five. Jeez, Paul Gridolo. Let's see. Nice. Paul got PSI Magnet Omega, meaning she can now still uh, PP more effectively from all people. Let's see here, come on, Jeff. And eh, Jeff got an okay one. That was a good level up on S Man Vitality on by three. Okay, so let's go into yes once again, Nirvana. 
All of our party's alive, thank god. Okay, let's approach the sanctuary. SANCTUARY! Ness thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, Be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's what she said! Ness the soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. Yes, Milky Well. This is a spring with milk coming out of it. But it's because there's only one cow in all of Eagle Land. I was going to make a prostitution joke right there, though, but that would be wrong. Alright. Wow, look at that. 270. Damn. Ness is certainly a tank, I'll give him that much. And, as I do every time, I'll play the soundstone for you guys so you can hear the song so far. Touch soundstone to his forehead and gather his thoughts. That is the whole song so far. We gotta continue. We got five more parts of the song to collect. Let's go. No time to waste. Let's head back to Saturn Valley. Not worth using an exit mouse here, because it's really not that long of a walk. I'm actually just gonna... I'm not even gonna cut this. I'm just gonna head back. Actually, what do you know? I will cut this. You guys know the way back. You guys aren't stupid. Or maybe you are, I don't know. Alright, see you guys in a moment. Okay, we're right near the exit. I decided to come back early because uh, Paula just got PSI Thunder Beta. Plus she has the mushroom in her head so I can show you that glitch with the hot springs and the mushroom like I was talking about before. And holy Jesus. Lots of enemies. Um, I'll chance it with Paula. This is probably not a very smart move, but eh, we'll see. Oh, great, now Jeff's feeling funky, too. Oh, great, oh, great, oh, shiznit. Oh, shiznit. Double shiznit. Triple shiznit. Quadruple shiznit. Quintuple shiznit, it didn't work. This got poisoned. What? Well, this is just a freaking five-star battle right here. Damn. Jeez, I'm getting my ass handed to me. He's not dead! Dang. That was one tough battle. <laughs> that was probably my worst battle ever. Dang. Sprig of Parsley. Wow, yeah, I could really use it. I, oh, I got Paralysis Omega, so I guess it wasn't all bad. Jeez, that was a bad battle. <laughs> Alert. This condition is critical. He will collapse if this condition is treated. Be careful. Yeah, I'll just do Life of Beta on myself right now, because I'm near a point where I can heal. Alright, we're just gonna go in here. Here's the glitch of the mushroom hovering above the hot spring. Look at that, it's like up above his head. Alright, let's see y'all. After the hot spring's been I made you feel reborn. Thank God. Reborn, literally. Oh, God, that was one tough fight. Um... But yeah, I think that's enough for now. Um, we're gonna be heading back to 3 to the next part, because there's nothing left for us to do here. So yeah, um... That was one tough fight, I'll say that again, though, but dang. I got him alive. I'm trying to do a no-death run of this, and that was close. Anyway, um... If you guys enjoyed this part, uh, definitely subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Give me a good five-star rating down below this video, and be sure to check out my other parts. Slime generator. Alright, I'll talk about that in the next part. Um, I'll see you guys later.